Welcome to today's video. Today's video is the gin and tonic. For me, this is the year round cocktail, but many people love it in the summertime as a nice, cool, refreshing cocktail. And right now in South Florida, it's hot as balls. It's been in the 90s all week, upper 90s. Today on the way home, it was 97. So I'm parched, I'm ready for a gin and tonic, but I discovered a new way to have a gin and tonic and it involves tonic syrup. Now gin is a distilled alcoholic drink that derives its predominant flavors from juniper berries. Gin originated as a medicinal liquor made by the monks and the alchemists across Europe, uh, partially in southern France, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Then it became an object of commerce in the gin industry. Even though the development of gin has been taking place since the early 17th century, it became widespread after the William of Orange-led Glorious Revolution of 1688 to where he restricted French brandy from import. So William III, also known as William of Orange, he was the sovereign prince of Orange from birth. Popular histories usually refer to his joint reign with his wife and cousin, Queen Mary II, is that of Mary and William. These are my five favorite gins for gin and tonics. You got the Bombay. The Bombay to me is the most botanical tasting gins out of the five I've got here. I've got the Beef Eater, I got the Dry, I've got the Plymouth. Ooh, you want some high test? This Plymouth, 114 proof. Woo wee! And then I got the, uh, I got my Tanqueray and my Tanqueray 10. This Tanqueray 10 is some tasty stuff. Oh, I love that stuff. My favorite tonic is Fever Tree. And this comes in a lot of different flavors. It comes in light. And if you make a gin and tonic with the Fever Tree, for a bottled tonic, you, I guarantee that you will like it. But the company's name comes from its initial product, which is tonic water. Uh, the tonic water, it was flavored with quinine, a chemical extracted from the bark of the South American cinchona tree. When introduced to India as a pharmaceutical to aid reducing fever associated with malaria, quinine was blended with soda water and sugar to make it more palatable. Producing the earliest tonic water, the cinchona tree was referred to in India as fever tree, hence fever tree. For bottled tonic water, I will always go to fever tree, but I've discovered a new adventure. Jack Rudy Classic Cocktail Syrup. I said Jack Rudy, not Jack Ruby, who Jack Ruby was the Lee Harvey Oswald murderer. Jack Rudy, pilot, inventor, craftsman, and daredevil. This is his tonic, his recipe, and this stuff is delicious. The ingredients of this syrup Water, sugar, quinine concentrate, lemongrass, orange peel, and citric acid. This stuff is real. Man, you make yourself a gin and tonic using this stuff, you will never go back. Now the Gin and Jack, Rudy, two ounces of your favorite gin, three quarter ounce of the Jack Rudy Classic Tonic Syrup, add ice, top with five ounces, of soda water. Stir and drink. Now I've tried soda water, seltzer, sifo seltzer, and I've used club soda. I think the only difference between club soda and seltzer water, club soda does have a little bit of salt in it. I've tried both. I like both. I found two to one. Two parts gin to one part of this. I have found that a tall glass with three ounces of gin ounce and a half of the syrup and five ounces of club soda or seltzer water. Oh, they are good. Let's make one. What's nice about the syrup is you can modify this to your personal preference. You really can't do that with this. But this is nice. I prefer one part syrup, two parts gin, in about a half a bottle, five ounces of either the club soda 
or seltzer water and top it with ice. All right, let's do this. Oh, these are so good. You got to put the big side up. And I always do the syrup first, so that way the gin can wash the residue out. So there's one jigger. One and one half ounces. Eh, we'll do the beef eater now. We'll do the beef eater tonight. So now I'm going to do two jiggers, which would be three ounces of gin. I prefer to give myself two lime wedges. Now we're going to add the soda water. Do about five ounces. If you pour it fast, it does the mixing for you. And then we're going to top it off with ice. And if you want to, eh, you can give yourself a little stir there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cheers with the best icy cold gin and tonic you will ever put to your lips. Ah, that is so good. Oh my Lord. You gotta be careful because the flavor of this is totally addictive. I got to give two thumbs up to the Jack Rudy classic tonic syrup because that guy nailed it. And I just discovered this a couple weeks ago. I give it two thumbs up. Well, thanks for sticking with me through the video. Little gin history, little malaria, little quinine history, fever tree. So cheers with an icy cold Jack Rudy gin and tonic. Ah, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.